In this video, I want to talk about how transcription in eukaryotes gets started. It gets started via this process called chromatin remodeling. And the reason why is because DNA in eukaryotes is wrapped around proteins called histones. Now, these histones, they carry a certain charge. What charge do they carry? Well, if they're interacting with DNA, it'd be helpful to know what DNA's charge is. DNA has a sugar phosphate backbone. And because of that, it has a negative charge. The negative charge of DNA is due to the phosphate groups in the backbone. So if DNA has a negative charge, what would you expect the histones to have? They would carry a positive charge because if they're interacting, opposite charges attract. It would make sense that the histones would carry positive charges. Now. These histones are proteins, and proteins are made up of long chains of amino acids. So these positive charges are coming from some sort of amino acid. The, the amino acids that have positive charges are the basic ones, histidine, arginine, and lysine. Now these histones are rich, at least their surface, is rich in lysine residues. So lysine. And so they have positive charges on their surface where they interact with DNA. So, in order for transcription to occur, we can't have these histones in the way. This DNA needs to be free so that the RNA polymerase and any transcription factors can go in, find a promoter region, bind to it, and start transcribing. So we need to get rid of these histones in order to get transcription to go. So, if we initially have a histone with some lysine residues on it, those have positive charges. So, if we can get rid of this positive charge, then maybe we'll be able to free up the DNA. And there's actually an enzyme that does that. It's called histone acetyl transferase, otherwise known as HAT. And what it does is it adds an acetyl group to that lysine, getting rid of that positive charge. Now, acetyls look like this. You recall acetyl-CoA, it would look like this. It would have a methyl and this carbonyl group here, and then a CoA. So if we just kill that CoA portion off, this part is an acetyl group. So here what we've done is we've taken it, uh, the histones from having positive charges to neutral charges. Whoop, I didn't want to put that in blue. To neutral charges. So now the histones, the histone affinity for the DNA has decreased. Because of that, DNA is unpackaged. And when it's unpackaged, DNA is ready for transcription. So that is how eukaryotes prepare for transcription. Now, what if you want to repackage that DNA? You have to be able to go backwards. And that pro so what about repackaging DNA? If you want to go backwards, let's put this in um, purple now, maybe not. Let's do this color. Going back this way, there are enzymes called histone deacetylases. Oops. Acetylases or HDACs. So what they do is they deacetylase the histones. They get rid of that acetyl group and get the, get the the positive charge back onto lysine so that you can have the DNA reassociate with those histones. Hope that video was helpful. I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moveuniversity at gmail.com and see the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.